So I am about five miles from the east entrance to Yellowstone. No creatures so far. I was hoping I'd see a moose along the water, but there's always inside of Yellowstone. I've let some cars pass me. I like to be able to just drive the speed limit, take my time and enjoy the drive in. Oh my gosh, my fifth trip to Yellowstone. I'm so excited. Let's keep driving and get to the park. And it's, it's really snowing now. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. It is snowing. This is great. Well, I am here in Yellowstone. <laughs> It is May 6th, the day after the park opened, the east entrance opened for the 2023 season. And wow, oh, I was just here in September, but man, do I miss this place. There is still lots of snow on the ground, as you can see behind me. Uh, they were saying that Sylvan Pass, watch out for avalanches, but um, wow. <laughs> We gotta touch some Yellowstone snow. Look at that fresh snow on there. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. Now I have been here, rental car. I have been here in the past when there still has been snow, but I have not been here this early in the season. They are also saying that you might see more dead wildlife because this has been an exceptionally rough winter for the animals. Um, so there might be a lot of carcasses and animals feeding on those carcasses and to stay back even farther. Add another layer on. I did my usual stuff. I'm now at Sedge Bay. In the end of September, this is completely not frozen. <laughs> now it's completely frozen. You can see some fresh bison droppings. Wow, what a difference. What a difference just a few months makes. There's some great driftwood here, lovely stones, but you are not allowed to remove anything from the park, obviously. You just enjoy nature. Look at that. I see my first thermal feature across the way. <laughs> oh. All right, let me let me show you this this wondrous beauty for those that may never have the chance to come out here. Then I hope that this little video uh, does it does this place justice. Oh, there they are! I always know I'm in Yellowstone when I see my first bison. Oh, I don't want to pull over because they're kind of close to the road, so it's not maintaining distance, but. So I just attempted to just walk out there so I could uh, see the water a little bit more. And let me tell you that snow is a lot deeper than it looks. I probably sunk down about two feet. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm not gonna be walking out there. Yeah. <laughs> I had to take my shoes off and empty the snow out of my shoe because I just went pew. So it is, a lot deeper than it looks, that's for sure. I made a few stops along my way and I'm headed to Old Faithful. The route that I usually take is closed because of the snow, that, that road's not open yet. So I have to go around another way, which isn't bad. I've seen the bison and I saw a chipmunk <laughs> and geese. 
those are the three creatures I've seen so far. I can only hope for a moose. I'm really trying to look at the water to see if are there are any moose uh, along the shoreline just in case. We can only hope maybe one will walk out in front of us on this road. But like not too close, just close enough. Not too close. I don't need to run into a moose. I just want to see one. <laughs> okay, turn the car on. Let's get back exploring Yellowstone. Sulfur cauldron, 10 times more acidic than lemon juice. It sits on the edge of one of the most active areas of Yellowstone's buried volcano. So that creature out there is a coyote. So I've reached, so I've reached one of the points on the South Rim Drive of the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Caution, trails not maintained, that's okay. This is the, probably the busiest section that I've seen so far here. Oh, wow. Oh. This is the lower view of the Grand Canyon. Oh, wow. It's like a painting. Look how pretty. Yeah, I don't know. 
So as much as I make these videos uh, to put on my channel, I also make them for myself. This way, when I'm 97, <laughs> and I might not be able to walk this path anymore, I can look back and see. And honestly, I've, I've said it, I don't know how many times, but the fact that it is snowing makes me oh so happy. That is one big bison. He is a big one. So they always tell you to stay so many feet away from the bison. So I'm definitely, I'm definitely out of range for for that big guy. They say don't pet the furry cows because they do look very enticing to pet. Like they look, their heads are so ginormous. Great technical word, but it's, that might be it's probably as close as you want to be to a bison. Me, me and Mr. Bison over here, just hanging out, enjoying Yellowstone. <laughs> I love those creatures, but this is actually one of my favorite spots. I love driving through this section. It's very peaceful. There's a lot of wildlife, the trees, it's just... <sighs> I love it here. <laughs> how many times, count how many times I'm going to say I love it here. I love it here. I'm arriving at Old Faithful Inn and it looks like Old Faithful is going off. There she is, the Old Faithful Inn. Oh my goodness. Oh, my favorite place here. Sit there for hours just reading and enjoying people watching and being in such a historic place. So we're gonna find a place to park. Hopefully my room is ready. I can check in relax a little bit, we shall see.